Welcome to Surveying Class. So we are discussing lecture number uh, 15 basically and the unit 4 we are discussing the measurement of vertical distances. So if you recall last class we have seen the reciprocal uh, leveling I mean the profile leveling we have discussed in details. So the instrument used for the vertical distance measurement we call it level and we have seen uh, the different types of level instruments such as you know dumpy level and we have the auto level and then total station all these things instrument you know, are instrument is used for measuring the vertical distances so in this lecture number 15 we will be discussing about the reciprocal and the tri you know, trigonometric leveling so before we start reciprocal leveling uh, let me give a brief, brief you know, overview what we have discussed till now in this unit so basically we have we are finding out the vertical distances right so our earth surface is not uh, exactly a flat right there will be undulations like somewhere you have the heel somewhere you have the valley so the entire earth is you know the entire uh, terrain is not at all flat so before constructing or before constructing any road or you know any railway laying out of railway tracks or any construction of large projects we have to find it out how much is the elevation it means each point whether the land is flat or how much it is the elevation difference is there whether any hill is there or any valley is there if any hill is there means you have to cut it right and if any valley is there means you have to fill it so that's why profile leveling is very much important like vertical level leveling and all so that we have seen in the last lecture in details and uh, how exactly the operation performs in field that also we have seen like damper levels we will be, will be shifting you know from one point to another point continuously and ultimately uh, we are getting the profiles of the load profiles of the road similarly we have seen the cross-sectional leveling also where the road road how it varies to, you know to across the cross section of the road that also we have seen the level difference so in this lecture i'll be discussing another type of leveling that we call it reciprocal leveling so which one is reciprocal leveling so where for example in this case here you can see that you want to you have a benchmark of x maybe this is a river is flowing so you have a, you know, one point x this is our control point the material longitude as well as the elevation is known for this point now we want to do the surveying in the other side of the river so in that case we have to shift the control point right from x to some other point uh, you know in this side of the river so that that's why we need the reciprocal leveling means uh, the point is visible but it is very far right the distance is very wide if it is a small distance then normal as a normal method what we can do is we can and normal yesterday we have seen right in the uh, profile leveling how we shift our instrument from one point to another point but here this distance this horizontal distance is huge so in that case you have to use the reciprocal leveling so what do you mean by reciprocal reciprocal means you understand now from you know from one side to another side you take measurement and then from another side to this side also you have to take the measurement so there are measurement you have to take two times from this side one measurement from this side another measurement why because here the distance is very high right this uh, no, the, the distance is very high then you need reciprocal leveling because uh, this will introduce the additional errors in the measurement see so this is the blue line you can see uh, this solid blue line is the actual line of sight right so from here basically from this term uh, no, dumpy level if you look and here if you fix one object then this is the actual line of sight whereas this dotted line is basically the level line means our earth is not flat right our earth is a circle oval shape something like that spherical in nature right that, that that's why the, the if the distance is more means if you are finding out the distance then you have to consider the earth's curvature as well so that's why if you see if the distance is very far then the straight line may be the solid line but the actual level line is this dotted line right because earth is curved right you understand here let me draw it here so maybe for example here you have a small you know, point you are measuring although straight you will be looking like that right but earth is a spherical is in nature so at this point the distance will be not exactly horizontal right level line may be something like that so something like that will be the level line so now you understand because of this you know arts curvature there will be you know small error in the measurement so this is the error we call it we note it e small e why this error occurred because if the distance is very hard very far then light always you know travels through straight line whereas the earth is not flat right it is spherical so if the distance is more then the spherical nature of earth has to be considered if you don't consider then there will be small error in the measurement small e you, you have seen here
So this is one type of error it will occur if the distance is very very far and then the second type of error which will occur is the, uh, the reflection and refraction basically refraction of light will be happening because here the medium whatever you know medium is there air medium in the density of air also may not be same. here maybe some density here also maybe small change in the air density also may observe so because of the change in density of you know medium the light will refract so light will simply you know refract and it may not pass through the straight line it there may be a small de you know, deviation from the level line so that also introduces another type of error in the reading so now you understand there are basically two types of error may be encountered if the readings two readings are very far apart so one reading is one error will introduce because of the curvature of the earth and the second type of error may introduce is because of the refraction of light so before you know before calculation before doing the measurement we have to consider both the type both type of errors and then we can you know, take the uh, perfect setup of control points so to find the accurate relative uh, elevation of two widely separated intervisible points see from x and y these two points are basically intervisible means from x you can see the y but the distance is very high so in that case reciprocal leveling is employed so basically in the reciprocal leveling first time we keep our instrument here dumpy level or maybe auto level whatever instrument we are using for the leveling purpose and first we keep here and one staff will be keeping here so first we measure what is this what is this height at the x so this is the near end then again you keep one more stuff at y and there you measure what is the distance what is the you know what is the stuff reading at y point so now this is first set of reading we have taken now you reverse the same instrument you keep it now here at this position okay so again you take two readings one is near reading means at y you keep the stuff and take the readings and another stuff you keep it at x and instrument is at this position and again you take another reading so now that's why this reading is called basically this leveling is called reciprocal leveling because we are reciprocating the process so initially we did from here and later on we are keeping instrument here and again two times two times we have taken the measurement so how much error so if uh, so let me write it here so when the instrument is at this position so this point you got the distance x dash and this point you got y dash right the next point you keep the instrument is here and you cite it y so y may be the distance is uh, y2 and at x the distance is x2 then the what is this so you know, level difference from at the beginning point so if, if initially we kept our instrument here then the level difference is basically x dash minus x1 minus y1 but when you keep the instrument here then the level difference is now the present level difference is uh, x2 minus y2 okay so if both the differences are same means x dash minus y dash equal to x2 minus y2 both are same then there is no error now you understand there is no error because because of earth curvature as well as there is no error because of refraction also but if both the values are not same if x dash y and x2 dash minus x2 y is not same then there is an error and you have to correct it accordingly so the error may arise but on out of the curvature of earth or the inter intervening the atmosphere right so this is the main reason because of variation in temperature right so because this side of river maybe you have some some temperature uh, maybe this side temperature increased to two or three degree maybe nearby industries here because of that or many other reasons maybe there because of you know change of temperature so there are many you know uh, the atmospheric conditions may you know may affect the straight line straight line of sight and which may introduce the additional error in our reading so let's uh, solve one example quickly so here the question is in order to transfer the reduced level rl uh, across a canyon a reciprocal leveling campaign was conducted means the same example what we have seen in the last slide that basically uh, you have a river or here we it is mentioned a canyon so something like that you can imagine so this point is you know you have one reading and this point is another point so x and y so x point you know what is the latitude longitude elevation and you have to find out what is the rl level of y that is the question so simultaneous readings were observed using the two levels one at each end of the canyon 
so each of these levels are have are having the same magnitude of power magnifying power means the same instrument basically we are using from this side whatever instrument dump level we use the same instrument we are keeping it here and we are taking the measurement so the sensitivity level everything is same for you know because the same instrument we are using for the both the sides so with the instrument interchange so these are the following readings basically we got it so this is main important uh, values are given to us what is first things first value so the instrument station x so at the beginning instrument is at x level so first reading is the average near reading meter so first you kept the instrument here and what is the reading at x so reading at x is 1.78 and the far reading means distance reading is from here the reading is 2.345 so near reading is so you kept the instrument let me write it here so you kept the instrument here and first reading this one is uh, this 1.780 and again you have to get the measure far end distance so this reading is basically 2.345 right that means you understand the y is basically lower compared to x because the reading is also you know less so that is our first observation we saw now next time we kept our instrument here and we measured first the near distance near distance is given as 2.435 and again far distance here the distance the staff reading is basically 1.875 so this is the values given to us and the rl of x rl of x is known to us and that is given to 101.345 meter and the distance from x to y is also given to us this is 1.02 kilometer now you can imagine so it is a very huge river or canyon whatever you can assume and the earth's curvature is this follows this expression or this equation so find out the rl of the unknown point so basically you have to find it out the rl of y points so x rl is known to us which is 101.345 so now first we check uh, whether any error is there or not so the if you just differentiate so basically uh, this 2.345 minus this one okay so this minus this one and if you take this minus this one so both are same or not first you check it so 2.345 minus 1.8780 so this one plus basically this one 2.435 minus 1.870 so both the quantities basically is the level difference between both the tubes so if you add it and if you take the average of both one so that will be the level difference average level difference between both the points x and y so this is the average level difference right so reciprocal that's why the the, the the leveling is called reciprocal leveling because here we have taken two times measurement right first from this side we took measurement and nextly from this side to this side we took measurement so two times we have taken measurement now we are taking the average of level difference so the average of level difference we computed as 0.565 that means the y is basically lower right x is little up uh, for the x position is little up y position is little down so the rl of y will be simply x position is given to us 101.345 minus how much is lower is the y that is we computed already 0.565 so that comes out to be 100.785 so this is the new rl value uh, like that basically we can compute uh, the reciprocal level so next one we will discuss about the trigonometric leveling so reciprocal leveling you understand when the river is in between or maybe a you know, huge valley is there in between the two readings then we use reciprocal leveling now the trigonometric leveling is for example here you have a one point so here is a big hill is there nearby so you have to find out what is the level difference between t and x right t is at this point you know what is the height and you have to find out what is the elevation at point x but the here the ground is very steep so intermediate readings may, may be very difficult to take so in that case what you have to do so we have to use the trigonometry the, with the we have to use the trigonometric equations to a trigonometric formulas to find it out the uh, height at this point so how we are doing here so basically you know we keep our instrument at the valley level right and then see here also again the distance is very far that's why we have to consider the arts card which are also so arts card which means this is blue color line if you see the level line right level line you are considering it as arts you know card, card not straight line so whenever you see from the dumpy level so the straight line you will see this one is the straight line it's not it but the curve because the distance is very high so we have to consider the curvature of art so this is blue color lines are basically the we are considering the curvature you know curvature so first we have to keep our instrument here and we find it out 
you know, and we keep the stuff at x. So dumpy level is at t and the stuff is at x, right? So this is not dumpy level basically. We, here we are measuring the angle. So this is not dumpy level. This is where you doing the instrument here is called theodolite. So mean theodolite is another instrument we will be discussing in the upcoming lectures in details about theodolite. But here what we will be discussing because theodolite is primarily used for measuring the horizontal distance as well as the vertical distance, horizontal angle as well as the vertical angle also. But here we will be just using theodolite for measuring the vertical angle. So initially the theodolite is also very similar to dumpy level. So the instrument will be kept horizontal first and this is the 90 degree line means the line of sight means if the instrument is exactly at the horizontal this is the line you will see although this is the level line because earth is curved right spherical in nature so that's why this is this is the level line whereas this straight dot dot line you see that is basically the actual line of sight so the actual line of sight uh, already we have established and then we keep one stop at that point where we want to find it out the height or the elevation so we keep our stop at x point and you measure what is you know what is the angle so at the when the dumpy level so uh, let me draw it here so at the beginning the theodolite was horizontal so you measure this is the actual line of sight next the theodolite ang angle has changed now this is the uh, line so this is the line we are measuring and this is the angle between you know how much is the horizontal vertical angle so this is alpha so now based on our trigonometry basically now you have to find out what is this distance i mean what is this elevation of this one so elevation of t is already known to us okay so we have to find it out what is the level difference between x and t if that we can find it out then easily we can find out what is the elevation of x so how we'll be doing so we know what is the height of instrument right so this is the height of instrument so the this is the height of instrument so the same level already we can measure it whatever is the height of instrument so this is the height of instrument already we know so now from here to this distance is the basically earth's curvature right so this length is basically introduced because of earth's curvature so a horizontal line the line of sight is this one whereas earth's curvature is this one so this one we can easily get it from the you know, earth's curvature so this value already we know this one is simply height of the third light that we can measure it in field and this portion is also we got it using the an arts curvature equation so this two is fine so now from here to here is angle we measured it so angle alpha we know and the horizontal distance between t to x horizontal distance also we know you can measure it using you know the tape or anything or maybe inclined what is this inclined height that also can be measured so you know the alpha you know the horizontal distance now using the trigonometry basically you can find out what is this height that is from here to here this height alpha we know angle you know and what is the horizontal the slope uh, distance that also you can measure so using this trigonometric expression you can easily find out what is the, this height entire height so from this entire height this height already we have measured it right using this uh, dumpy level or basically third light we know what is the staff reading x to x1 so now easily we can find out what is this distance okay so that is uh, what we find what we need to find it out means the level difference means level difference means from this point to this point what is the level difference the level difference is this much right from here to here is the level difference so this one is the height of instrument this one is the uh, no distance because of our curvature arts curvature and this one already we have computed based on this trigonometric expression so what we have learned in this lecture basically we have seen the two types of leveling First one we have discussed uh, is, the, is the trigonometric leveling means where and second one we discussed about the reciprocal leveling. So when we use reciprocal leveling, when the distance is very far from each other, so two points are very far apart. So in that case we use reciprocal leveling because two times you have to take the readings. Right from one side we take one set of reading, then we shift the instrument to another side, and from there we take one more side, one more reading. So that's why the, the leveling is also called reciprocal leveling. And lastly, we have in the last slide we have seen the trigonometric leveling means. So it is very sometimes the because of you know ground curvature and all because of hill or valley or valley or you know jungle or anything may present on the earth surface. So this may you know give problem to for the direct measurement. So in that case, we have to use the indirect measurement, indirect estimation of vertical you know, elevations. So using the trigonometric principles, we find it out the angles, we find it out the horizontal distance. So based on these trigonometric principles, we can easily find it out the relevant 
that RL level or the reduced level. So this concludes this lecture. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about the errors, errors introduced in the uh, vertical distance measurement. And then the, our unit, this unit, unit four also will be completed. Thank you.